Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another vintage collection action figure review. This time I, th this is one I threw out the card back for so I can't show you, but I'll try my best to put it up on screen either here, here, in the middle, down the bottom, I don't know, I'll find a place to put it. Uh, but it is Luke Skywalker in his crate. Uh, look, I know the lighting isn't great, but uh, we'll get close up and have a closer look. Alright, here is Luke Skywalker from Crate. Uh, this is a cool figure. Uh, by all means, it's not perfect, but it is still a very welcome addition. I really liked the scene with Luke on Crate. Uh, his sort of force projection slash doppelganger, if you've read the Dark Empire series comics from Dark Horse back in the 90s. I only just recently finished that series and I can sort of see where they pulled that idea from. Um, and it worked really well. Um, the figure, uh, it's its turned out pretty good. Um, he does come with his lightsaber. Uh, just one of those details that, that Kylo Ren not clicked. Um, he would have known that that saber was destroyed or taken by Rey. Uh, face sculpt, uh, it looks good. Um, I think the photo reel paint has sort of gone a little askew on this one. As you can see, his beard on either side isn't symmetrical. Let's try and get up close. Uh, it's a little bit higher on that side than there. Um, and the eyes probably just aren't quite on it. Um, they're pretty close. Um, if I get the opportunity, if Hasbro re-released this figure at all, um, if they put out a carry forward for this figure, I may look at getting another. Um, the hair <laughs> leaves a bit to be desired. Uh, it's, it doesn't look great at all. Um, the sculpt's fine, but the paint looks like it was uh, just sort of slapped on there. Um, it's really disappointing, but... Uh, seen a lot of people uh, touch it up with their own paints. Um, I, sh I don't think we should have to, but uh, this is one I may end up doing that myself. But uh, in terms of the outfit, works really well, looks good. Um, he did have a slit in the back of this sort of lower part in the film. Um, so those two, bits, those two um, bits of the back of the cape robe there were split. Um, they're not on the figure. Um, that just could, be, could just be the way it's sitting. Uh, save them the trouble. So as he's just sort of standing there static, uh, they sort of just sit there and flow together. That looks all right. Got the belt. The hook there for the lightsaber. I think he came with a hilt. Uh, the hood at the back. I'd like to get a version uh, with the hood up. Uh, the SH Figure Arts version of this this figure didn't come with the hood up either. That would have been that would have been a cool feature. Um, so hopefully Hasbro, when they get around to doing a six-inch version, they give him the ability to throw a hood up uh, or swap out. That would be cool. Um, but yeah, otherwise it's it's a fine figure. Sort of weather the boots up a little bit. Now, if you've read the Rise of Kylo Ren comics, you'll know this is how Luke appears while he is training Kylo Ren uh, during his teenage teenage years. Um, so it certainly makes sense that Luke appears to Kylo Ren on crate the way he remembers him. So his articulation, he's got a ball jointed head, ball hinged shoulders, uh, ball hinged elbows. A reasonable angle there on both elbows. Uh, swivel wrists again, just because of the gloves, uh, the gloves and the extended hand, just the way they're sitting in the robes, it was a natural place to go with that articulation there. Uh, a little bit of a ball joint there, but it's probably better used as a swivel. Uh, ball jointed hips, swivels at the thighs, ball jointed knees, and ball hinged ankles as well. So, 
not a bad figure at all. Uh, I would like to get another one. Just hopefully it looks a little better, um, particularly with that face. Uh, but otherwise I can live with it. It looks fine. Um, I have him on display opposing Kylo Ren. So let me know in the comments what you think below. Of the figure, please. <laughs> and uh, until my next video, may the force be with you.